I'm TV6 meteorologist Eric DeBroca, and here's your latest weather on demand forecast. But what a day this has been. What a New Year's Eve Eve. This is now no good for celebrations that we've seen a lot of uh, terrible blizzard conditions on the roadways wrecking havoc all over the place. Good news, though, is that this, the heaviest of the snow is going to be ending overnight tonight and just sort of spreading out. So not going to be as intense as it was through Saturday as it was on Sunday. Uh, for cold still going to be really high, though, as far as the impacts for your New Year's Eve and also for your New Year's Day as well. Wind chills are going to be pretty high, but the wind itself is going to be calming down, which is certainly good news for all of us here. The wind chills are not going to be just brutal like they were earlier in the week. And even last night, there are no advisories in the UP. However, going into Wisconsin, there are where we will be seeing readings between minus 20 to minus 30 degrees, real feel on your skin. Warnings, advisories still in effect though for snow, and that is all the county, especially for the north. I'll say Eastern Marquette County and Elger County. This is going to be Sunday evening into Monday morning. We're talking about more snow, several inches of accumulation likely, especially for Northern Schoolcraft County there in the winter weather advisory and areas across the west as well. Ontonagon and Gogibic also expect more inches of snow, but the good news here is the Keweenaw Peninsula is now out of the advisory. And check out the ribbon of moisture that crossed over Lake Superior earlier this morning, and it was intense. The banding was pretty sharp and did make it pretty far south also into Marquette County. But notice how the last hour or so, last several hours, the moisture starts to fan out as drier air is now funneling in over to the east, and that's going to help continue to push the snow showers back to the east. So areas tonight towards Munising and M28, just be careful if you have to travel anywhere around the area although M28 is closed, which has been closed for exactly that reason. All these indicate storm icons or snow accumulations and sometimes in excess of three to four inches on the low end, but in the Keweenaw Peninsula, 18 inches in the last 24 hours there, uh, close to Calumet. Nagani had 6.2 inches. We have accumulations also in our train of about a half a foot of snow. Wind, that's another big issue with this type of uh, storm system. It was extremely windy. We had gusts in excess of 30, 40, and there was one there and it was over 60 miles an hour in near Sands. And there was Painsdale marking out or topping out the list there at 15.1 inches of snow. A foot of snow additionally fell in Toivola with wind gusts in the Keweenaw Peninsula towards Copper Harbor at 46 miles an hour. All in all, just not a great day to be outside. Good news is some of that is going to be changing in our favor, at least for a little bit on New Year's Eve into New Year's Day, not as intense. Uh, of weather situation. Wind chills though still are pretty intense. We see almost minus 15 to 20 degrees sub zero there for Iron River and Iron Wood. Putting your snowfall future cast in order here. Notice how this the bands of snow do eventually continue to shift off to the east as drier air works its way in from the west and the winds shift back to the northwest and that means those usual suspects all winter long that we normally see Areas along M28 to Deerton, Autrain, and Munising, we're going to be seeing more snow. And then throughout the day on Sunday, we're going to be seeing also more snow for the Keweenaw Peninsula into New Year's Day. But otherwise, it's going to be pretty calm, quiet, and cold as temperatures will be in the single numbers both days. And if you're in the interior west, barely making zero as our midnight celebration on New Year's Eve will be a cold one below zero. So definitely bundle up the extra layers for that one. Heaviest snow is done, thankfully. Continue lake effect though, as we continue to face bitterly cold wind chills. Here was your high of the day, 11 degrees, and again, a frigid one, topping out 12 degrees below the average in another night below zero. Still actually was a far cry from the record of 1976. Currently, a lot of us, especially close to Lake Superior, have a lot of a thick snowpack now, and that means temperatures are cold, but not as cold as we are seeing inland, where there isn't as much snow, plus, there's a lot less clouds affecting the uh, temperatures. Close to the lake though, it's eight degrees along the, sh the shoreline and about five from Nagani. This, this month alone in the, for the National Weather Service, we're about four inches down. After catching up today, we were about 10 before today's big snows, but here was the culprit. Area of low pressure continued to move out and this little trough just was enough to dig up a more moisture over Lake Superior. So putting your weather in motion here, continue to see, notice not a lot going on outside of lake effect on all the lakes, look at this huge plume of moisture extending from Lake Michigan all the way. So as far as snow totals go, we're only talking about a few more inches, say another three to four inches from, say, East Marquette, Harvey to Munising, 
on M28. And then we're not done for the Cuban Up Peninsula. We're just getting started here once again. As far as your forecast for tonight, temperature-wise will be below zero, minus eight to six above. The day tomorrow, colder than today, unfortunately, minus two to 11 degrees. As our westerly winds, it will be gusty, but not as bad as it was on Saturday. Your extended forecast now takes a look at a very sharp cold pattern. Uh, the best day is going to be Tuesday with temperatures barely breaking 15. We will have some sunshine though, especially inland, but also that comes to an end with more light snow Wednesday as temperatures barely hit 10 degrees with some very cold nights as well.